Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to create a squeeze page for your website or a landing page if you want, which is a page where you can you know you know you can offer something for free if somebody gives you their email in exchange. So I have this website meditation music and I'm gonna make a squeeze page for that and it's gonna look like this you know grab your free meditation ebook now and in here you can see the book and you can type in the email you want to receive the book and also which format you want it in and then submit or if you don't want to do this you can just click here to get to the music right away and the only thing you need to create this is WordPress you don't have to pay for anything and that's great because most most squeeze page makers cost money each month and of course they got more features than this does but if you don't have the you know the budget to do it then this is great so the first thing you want to make sure is that yeah and this is wordpress.org and what you need to make sure is that you have jetpack activated so you cannot connect your wordpress.org with a wordpress.com account and then you go to settings and this right here the contact form is very important because this will add an option to add a contact form to your page WordPress page so you need to make sure you have the contact form activated <coughs> And when that's done, I already have this here, but I'm going to create a new one now so you can see. Add new. So you enter the title. I already have this set up. So I don't have to use any time doing that. Just fill in the information you want. And as with most squeeze pages, you want to make the information short and to the point and get right to it under the text I'm gonna add the picture and this picture I created in blender to make it look like an actual book this is just a little you know ebook it's not a real book <laughs> I'm gonna set this to 570 yeah And then under the picture, you want to add the contact form. And, you know, as soon as people have to fill out a lot of slots, their name and their email and website and comment and whatever, you can do that. but. Research shows that if you just put in the email, more people will answer and be interested. So I just say, type in the email in order to 
type in your email in order to receive the book and I just remove the required check because you know everybody knows that if they don't give me their email then they won't receive the book so by having the required check it just looks stupid unnecessary but since I have the book in multiple formats for this I'm gonna add another spot and write which format do you want it in and then I'm gonna create a drop-down menu and the first option will be PDF the second option will be EPUB which is good for most reading devices and then I got dot mobi <laughs> mobi which is good for a Kindle and I could keep on but those three are the most important one and these are also required but I'm not gonna check that because that's just I don't think it's necessary and then you will have this nice little drop down menu here and then up here in email notifications you can define the email you want to receive these messages in but I'm just gonna use my regular one for this one so and I'm gonna call the subject line ebook hungry and if you don't fill in this then you will just receive them at the email you've registered with WordPress so when you're done you just take add this form to my post and add you like, do like this and of course you wanna you could just end it right here and then people wouldn't have any way to get to your site if they didn't want your offer but I think that's a little you know nasty <laughs> so I'm gonna give people a way to say no thanks take me to the meditation music by clicking here so what I do is I create a link from the here word and I have all of the meditation music I have under the category meditation music I also have by normal meditation music but all of the music also lies under the meditation music category so to get people into the site it's enough to just point them to meditation music category so with the here word marked I go up here insert edit link and I put in that and I open that in a new window well you don't have to you know but I like to do it like that then And then you need to edit your permalink because it must be readable and that improves the search rating on Google. So I'm just going to take free meditation ebook now. Two? Yeah, it says two because I already have one. That's okay. And then you want this site, well, this page to be as clean as possible so make sure there is no likes, page attributes, featured image well you can have all these if you want but I prefer not to have them on my landing page I want to keep it clean with no you know side columns or anything like that so when the page is done I can just I'm gonna fix a little thing with this in italics just because it's nice you know and you could set up this in the way you want I'm just showing you a really basic way just preview it to see that it's actually working and it is now I did something now that I didn't 
do last time because it didn't work in the permalink. I didn't have to put in this first, you know, meditationmusic.guru or .com, .org, whatever you have, because it already knew that, but obviously it worked this time, so that's okay. So, when you're happy, you publish, but that's not enough. You will still most likely have You will have these um, tabs, and it's not enough just to create the page, you know, because now the page is a tab. So if even if I go into the main site, I will still get to the main site. But you want to point people directly to your squeeze page. So you have to go to appearance, customize. static font page and then not your latest post but a static page so then you can you know choose which static font page you want and when you're happy save and publish so now if I refresh my main page boom I get this one now it already says grab your free meditation ebook now up here and that's only because I have two of these pages now if I just had this one then this wouldn't be here and only home would be there and home wouldn't would just take you to that page so you would have to click no thanks in order to get to the music or to your main page. Now to make sure this actually works, I will log out. I will refresh this page and test to see that I actually get the email. And I will choose a yeah, give me an EPUB. Submit. Boom. So the message is sent, and I will go check my email. Refresh. Okay, what might happen is that it might fall into your spam, but there's no spam. Oh. I actually think I used the other page, so it then is sent to another email. Here we go. So I got it. Ebook hungry. This is not a spam. And here you will see the email from the person giving it to you asking for the book and what what file format so have I forgotten anything no I don't think so so you know just uh, leave your comments down below well I can just check one thing now if I, I want to show you that this actually is removed so you get a clean tabs page this is the new one isn't it should be no, this is the new one. No, yeah. Okay, so I delete this. Really? Is this really the new one? Yes, it is. Shouldn't that? Oh, yeah, that's because I've activated the real one. So I send that to the trash. Go to the trash. 
error. Why? Because it's published. Draft. Trash. Boom. Here we go. So if I refresh this page now, there you go. It's gone. Only the clean landing page is left. Yeah, if you have multiple pages, the way to remove them, because they would all happen, you know, land up here in the tabs, tabs place. The way you get rid of them is that you go into appearance and then click menus and you will have a menu with all the pages so you just remove all the pages and save the menu and then they're gone so you have to link to those pages some other way if you want to use this way to create a landing page at least as far as I know So now it's just clean and nice. Yeah.